Savitri, page 251. At will, she spaces in thin air of mind, like maps in the schoolhouse of intellect hung, forcing wide truth into a narrow scheme, her numberless warring strict philosophies. Out of nature's body of phenomenon, she carves with thoughts keen edge in rigid lines, like rails for the world magician's power to run, her sciences precise and absolute. On the huge bare walls of human nescience, written round nature's deep dumb hieroglyphs, she pens in clear demotic characters the vast encyclopedia of her thoughts, an algebra of her mathematic science, her numbers and unerring formulas. She builds to clinch her summary of things. On all sides runs as if in a cosmic mask, tracing the scriptural verses of her laws and daedal of her perturbed arabes, art of her wisdom, artifice of her lore. This art, this artifice are her only stock. In her high works of pure intelligence, in her withdrawal from the senses trap, there comes no breaking of the walls of mind. There leaps no rending flash of absolute power. There dawns no light of heavenly certitude. A million faces vast her knowledge here, and every face is turbaned with a doubt. All now is questioned, all reduced to naught, once monumental in their massive craft, her old great mystic writings disappear, and into their place start strict ephemeral signs. This constant change spells progress to her eyes. Her thought is an endless march without a goal. There is no summit on which she can stand and see in a single glance the infinite's whole.